Okay, boys and girls. We have been talking about text structure, which is how authors structure or build their story. And they pick the one that is best suits the purpose of their story. This week we are talking about sequence. The sequence text structure helps authors explain events in order. And they use certain key words or transition, key or clue words. And those words help us know that it is a sequence structure, right Libby? And so some of the words that are the clue words are first, next, last, before, then, those are the sequence words. Mm -hmm. Now boys and girls, there can also be dates. They can also structure it by date, which our story has some dates in it. It also has some of these key transition words, these key sequence words. Now I have given you a story about a very famous person. His name is Henry Ford, and it's called Henry Ford's Big Change. Has anybody ever heard of Henry Ford? A few people. Now, when we start to read, you may realize who Henry Ford is, because you probably have heard of something that Henry Ford, or a company he started, because it's still around today. Do you think you know what company Henry Ford started? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah. what company do you think Henry Ford started? What country did he start? Clark? What? Ford, the Ford Motor Company. So Ford Cars, he's the one who started it. So let's start, and we're going to start to read this. So who would like to start reading it out loud for us? And you have to read in a really loud voice so our at-home friends can hear us. Olive, would you like to read in a really loud voice? Henry Ford, Henry Ford founded the, motor, the, Ford, the Ford Motor Company in 
retired. Retired his turn over. He turned over. He turned over control of the, the, the company to his son. Okay, so he was very influential in the car industry. And he came up with the idea of the assembly line because before what we're learning is about how cars used to be made. So there were some very important things that Henry Ford did that revolutionized the car industry. So let's start, we have our list of questions so we can talk about what happened. So first off, what happened to the Ford Motor Company in 1903? What happened? So we're gonna answer the first question. What happened? What does it say in our story? Now we're gonna look for text evidence to answer this question. What happened, Avery? They needed more money. They needed more money, but so what did they do? That's what they did. So they brought new people. Let's write that. They brought new people into the company. Who supplied money? We'll say who gave them money. For testing and researching. New engines. Okay, so that's what happened. So they had some money. They got people with money to help them, who gave them the money for testing and researching new engines. So that was very important. So now we have to answer question number two because this is a very important thing that has impacted factories all over the world and how things are still made today. It says, what happened after he introduced the assembly belt? And we're not talking about a belt like you wear. They're talking about a belt that moves products along a line. You know how when you go to the grocery store, there's that like conveyor belt that moves your groceries? That's like an assembly belt. Yanni, what happened after he introduced the assembly belt? Um, he introduced the assembly belt into the factory and sales skyrocketed. Okay, so that's what happened. Sales skyrocketed and what? They helped more cars to be built in less time. So we can write two things. Sales skyrocketed. So they were able to, this helped more, this helped More cars to be built in 
last time. So on the assembly belt, belt they move the cars along and somebody puts on all the tires. That's just their job. They just put on tires or somebody just puts on the steering wheel. Instead of putting together one car at a time, they're putting together bunches of cars at a time because they're doing just, one person is just doing one thing at a time. Yes, Yanni. Okay, so that is what they are doing. Did everybody write that down? Are we ready for our next question? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, do I still need that up? No. Yeah. Okay. Now we have question number three. It says, what did Ford do before starting? Oh no, what changes did the company undergo in 1918? What happened then, Juliana? Yes, Henry Ford retired. So Henry Ford retired. And turned over control, turned control of the company control of the company to his son okay number 4 Now, what did Ford do before starting the Ford Motor Company? What did he do? Because he had a job before this. What was his job? What was his job? Libby, what was his job? He was an engineer doing what? Designing. Experimental. Yes. Yes, he was an engineer. So he was an engineer. So we'll just say he was an engineer. Do you think we need, should we say he was designed experimental motors? Yeah. No. No. Okay, we'll just say he was an engineer. Because okay. we're getting writing a lot. Now it says describe the connections within the text. What connections do we have within the text? What are our text connections? What do you think? Juliana. Um. We know what Henry Ford did in his life, and it tells us how does it tell it? Yanni? Yes, it tells us using dates. Libby? It tells us from the start of the company to the end of his company, right? So it tells us using important dates. Yes, Teddy? It tells us what he invented. tells us what he invented. That's right. So we are finding things out 
Yes? Oh yes, what's your favorite car? Um, well, what, some of them. What What are some of your favorite Fords? The Mustang and the GT. Oh yeah, the Mustangs are great cars, right? That is an awesome car. Those are pretty cool cars. Yes. My uncle, my uncle works for Ford. That is awesome. So does my uncle. He inspects cars. Nice. So boys and girls, so now we'll write. Describe the connections with the text within the text. So the text, we'll say the text is organized in sequence by C. And as Juliana and I think Teddy and Libby said, it was telling us important dates in Henry Ford's life. It tells us important. Dates in Henry Ford's life. So it's really kind of amazing, isn't it? Especially when you find out in 1918, the Model T made up more than half of the cars that were sold. Can you imagine? If now, if think of all the cars that there are, if more than half of them were just one kind. So of all the cars that were on the road in 1918, more than half of them were just the one kind, were the Model T that Henry Ford manufacturer. So pretty influential guy, Henry Ford. Okay, boys and girls, now you can put this, you can put a nice star on it or a turkey for Thanksgiving and you could keep that. Oh.